And man was just my thing. My thing ain't had. They ain't have to do that. No mama and no daddy. Lord Jesus. I'll tell you what I think you should do, D'Angelo. Not because I think you wanted that man to get shot or had anything to do with shooting him. But I think you could uh, just sit here for a moment or two, collect your thoughts, you know, get your shit together. And then I think it might be a good thing for you to write a little letter to those children. And you let them know you sorry. That they're not gonna have anyone left, you know? I mean, just say something. Tell him how you personally think your uncle, maybe he got it wrong this time because it's wrong that they lost their daddy behind what happened, you know? Might mean something to him to know that you feel it for him. And I ain't got nothing to say. Just say what's in your heart. Church deacon. That was thick. Got good to me. What can I say? <laughs> Sad enough with the kids being orphaned and everything. <laughs> I thought it was from Bunk's desk. <laughs> They're yours? Yeah, afraid so. Good thing they look like their mama. <laughs> Maurice Levy just posted. It's by the elevators. The defense never rests. Shame on you, McNulty, dragging me from the Levy family preserve on a Friday night. My apologies. Yvette made brisket. Good? When served hot, one or two. Your client. What the fuck? Stop writing now. Just writing. Shut up! He calls his lawyer. That's supposed to be the end of the interview. Your client gave no statement. We took no statement. He just decided voluntarily to write a letter to the victim's family. To say Shut up. Any charge here? No charge. But get up. Go. Walk. Listen to me. You don't say anything. You don't do anything. You don't write anything. Do you hear me? Shut up. How many fucking times do I have to tell you people the same fucking thing? 